This man was the real life Pennywise. In the 1950s, John Randall, better known as Pogo the Clown, moved to Hartville, Ohio. He quickly became a familiar face at children's parties and local events, entertaining with a smile that concealed his dark intentions. During this time, the town was gripped by fear. A series of young boys had gone missing under disturbing circumstances, with all signs pointing to a single, elusive serial killer. On the evening of December 13, 1956, Randall was driving on the outskirts of town and noticed a young man named Mark Stevens sitting at a bus stop. Mark had just missed the last bus. Randall offered a ride and a place to stay for the night. With no other options, the young man accepted. That night, he was led to a bare mattress in the basement of Randall's home. Mark was shaken, but very tired, and reluctantly went to sleep. Hours later, Mark awoke to giggling sounds coming from behind a closed door. He went to investigate, and froze in horror upon entering the room. It was filled with Polaroid photographs and strange tools. As Mark looked closer, he realized they were photos of the missing boys. Mark turned to escape up the basement stairs, but his heart sank when he saw Randall, dressed as a grotesque clown. Before Mark could react, Randall lunged, pushing him back down the stairs. As he lay there, he heard footsteps coming closer, realizing his nightmare had only just begun. 